first films I made, um, I was living in like uh, unheated warehouses with uh, older avant-garde experimental filmmakers in Baltimore. I went to the uh, city surplus dump, got a splicer and I got a projector. And I found some films and I took them home and cut them up. I made about five or six films without using a camera, you know, and that gave me a real understanding of frames and timing. One of them is called feature presentation, simply because I didn't have a camera so I couldn't film my own titles. Then that film was actually a digest of some old yellow trailers I found. So I just cut out all the boring parts, basically. I cut this high action film together. I was naively worried about uh, getting in copyright trouble on my first film. When you see Old Yeller, I thought, oh, the dog might have uh, a contract. You know, I, I might get censored for that. So I put a dot over the dog, but you'd see all these hogs attacking it. You know, so I, I was like reworking the footage. Because I was an artist, I appreciate the permanence of film. I appreciate the physical state of it, that it's not particles on a piece of tape. This is a, a sheet of handicapped medical uh, press-on letters, um, pre-Photoshop, obviously, pre-computers. So actually, I realized that these would adhere to film. So I could like rub these on each frame, and I'd have like the wheelchair man. If you wonder, is there hair in the projector? Um, no, it's on the film, actually. <laughs> it was in the camera, and then it was on the projector, and then it was on the paintbrush. It's what other people try to generate on computers. It's all quite natural. Yeah, I felt like, well, okay, a lot of people can do found footage films, and I can do that, but really at heart I'm an artist, and I can paint, and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> For instance, to start out, when I was making Katsumoe, I took a number of, uh, you know, risque pictures, let's say, um, and superimposed the cats into these different figures. Wow! 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 Yeah, it was my sense of humor coming through. I wasn't afraid to have fun. I mean taking hits and swipes at things that bothered me and incorporating uh, the music of my friends. My films are faster than the human heartbeat. I mean, it's seizure, it's, it's near seizure. But if it were any slower, I just found it uninteresting. Well, my films, they get like a very tight logic to this. As I make them, they become their own clothes system of how it's going to work, how things move, how fast things move, how things evolve. It's very logical. You can make out what you're seeing, but you don't really know where it's taking you, where you're going. So that's part of it, that you have to let yourself go to the dream of it and then kind of maybe look back at what you saw. <laughs> <laughs>